Kansas time. I can't believe it's finally here. Our favorite time of the year, headed out to Yarmer Farms out there in Kansas. It's like family for us now. We love Neil and Justin, Morris. We can't wait to see those guys. Brooke and the boys are already out there. Uh, me and Barry and Josh are leaving in the morning early, about 4 o'clock. It's going to take us about 19, 20 hours to get there, pulling a camper. But that's all right. It's going to be worth it when we get there. We've got our guide fitter swag on. Got some lemon shield hunt over here. Some tinglys packed up. Thank you guys for all y'all do for us. For, uh, we can't do this Florida boy stuff without you. But we appreciate you. Cannot wait to see you out there in Kansas here in, a, I don't know, a couple hours. And uh, I just appreciate you guys watching. Appreciate you coming with us. We're going to have a great time. Good morning. Kansas. Time to get a little work done. Get our things ready for deer season 2021. Let's go get after it. That's a wrap. Can't wait to get back in November. He's out. Can't wait. Oh, good morning. How are you? Good morning. Uh, we're in Kansas. Yeah, we are. I think I'm wearing the same thing I left North Carolina here. I think you should wear it all week. Yeah. Every day. Well, it's the first time. I just got me a few paper towels gathered up here, take the stand. What you got those for, Lloyd? Well, man, one never knows when you might have to uh, pop a squat. Yeah. This is <clears throat> day number two in Kansas. First morning. Yes, actual first morning. First morning here in Kansas. I shot my buck last night. Of course, I didn't get it on film because I was self-filming and couldn't get the uh, cameras turned on in time. But uh, I will show you some pictures of him in a little while. I hate I didn't get to bring that to you, but hey, it's the way it happens. But the good thing is, is now I am a full-time cameraman. I am tagged out in Kansas. And this morning, I'm tagging along with Barry. Barry's in the stand, and I've got me a nice little perch up here on the hill, so I'm going to film him this morning. We're sitting on one of our favorite spots. This is the spot we call the river property. We're right near the Smoky Hill River. It's a perfect patch. We've got a patch of Milo standing Milo in front of us, and this is the only thing around us that's to eat. So we got CRP on one side, Milo right here, and uh, wind is blowing perfect. Blowing out of the south, wind is blowing out of here, so we just need a buck to go, a buck to uh, cooperate. And we'll be well, that's going to do it for morning number one. We had a good sit this morning. So I uh, saw a couple of deer, nothing even close, but I mean, the deer are actually just starting to do starting to do what they're supposed to be doing this time of year and that's uh, just a matter of time no good saw one doe 
I see it. Early. Yeah, I see it. One doe. First yeah. morning hunt, one doe. Brook has seen some big shooters coming in this mountain. And they've been coming in. set up here on the ground and got our fingers crossed. This is going to work here. 72 degrees, so not ideal. Oh, he's coming up. He's coming. He sees the decoy. I ain't so sure he's a shooter. action that was pretty cool if it had been a shooter boat to come by us earlier we'd have one on the ground at 10 yards great afternoon again we're going to uh, pack up here shortly get on out of here be back in here in the morning we have another great day looking forward to seeing you tomorrow brooke has got two do uh, two deer down a doe and a big buck we're talking 170 class big a whopper because Brooke Lawson is the luckiest son of a gun alive. Arrow number one. How do you live? One arrow. Oh, the arrow found. Let me carry that. I see. Look at that rack sticking up. Holy smokes. Holy cow. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that bone, son. Well, I'd gotten a stand about two minutes and a little small seven point come barreling up through here cruising. He went on towards Scott over there at his stand and heck, I hadn't sat there 20, 30 minutes and I was just looking out across the CRP with my binoculars and I caught him in the bottom half of my binoculars and he was already 80 yards chasing a doe in here. I didn't even know she was with him. I said, well, I might as well see if I can tag out while I'm here. Well, I shot her and hit a bunch of these weeds out here and it flung up over her back. She run down there 22 yards from me, let me knock another air and I shot her and so I'm tagged out in Kansas.
was hit good. I just seen that tail flicking and he's tucked his tail when I watched him. He's, he's bedded down over there about 80 yards. So what we're gonna do, the wind is perfect for us. We're gonna pack our stuff up, get out of here real quiet, and we're gonna come back and get that deer later because he, he's gonna die. It's gonna take him a bit of time. Shot's a little bit back, but he's hit hard. So we're gonna slip out of here. see if we can uh, recover Barry's deer, Justin saw. He had a deer bedded down here close to the side of the road last night. He saw it get up and go in here and lay down. So we're gonna take the old GoPro and uh, head in here and see what we can find. This is a needle in a haystack. Uh, Barry is uh, gonna go back to where we got had first blood. We hadn't been able to find the bed where the deer was laying. So Barry's gonna go back where we got our last blood pick it up from there and work back towards me. I'm gonna to work towards him, see if we can intersect somewhere on some blood. We have been scouring through <laughs> here on hands and knees, looking and looking, and Barry and I just traced, we traced the trail back out here, followed the creek where Justin said he saw the deer run yesterday. And we're just kind of just, we were fixing to, we were fixing to throw it. Matter of fact, we just looked at each other and said, uh, game over, game over, we're done. And he actually turned his head and said, you ain't gonna believe this. And we looked over here and I see antler. <laughs> Man, it seems like forever ago when we got here in Kansas. It's been a great trip out here. We've killed three nice bucks. I got two more guys trying to get one. I'm going with Josh this morning. We seen a big, big 10 point last night. Just could not get him uh, close enough to shoot. He was running does and we're hoping that he comes back in this morning. We'll put the decoy out and see if he'll come check that decoy.
Kiss son of a gun alive when it comes to deer hunting. So we're going to put Josh with Brooke.